हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फेम वर्ल्ड एजुकेशनल हब माय सेल्फ ऐश्वर्या सक्सेना एंड टुडे इन द सीरीज ऑफ एल्गोरिदम्स आई एम गोइंग टू इलस्ट्रेट एन एग्जांपल ऑफ इटरेटिव डीपनिंग डेप्थ फॉर सर्च आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड डेप्थ फॉर सर्च ट्राइवर्सल ब्रेथ फॉर सर्च ट्राइवर्सल डेप्थ लिमिटेड फॉर सर्च so i hope you have watched those videos and if you haven't watched depth first search so i recommend you to please watch the previous videos of the series then come back to this one as it is very important to understand those concepts to understand this one now i'm going to start iterative deepening depth first search and here is a numerical and it is very important topic uh, for the examination purpose as uh, this type of questions usually come in various examinations uh, this particular topic uh, could be covered in data structure design analysis of algorithm or even artificial intelligence these algorithms are included in these three subjects of any computer science or information technology curriculum i hope uh, these videos will be helpful to you all so now let's start with the numerical here are few notes given it is a tree A B C D E F G H I J K. These are the nodes, and uh, we can also call them vertices. I have already discussed these terminology in the previous videos, so I recommend you to please watch them. Here, as uh, we are uh, going for the iterative deepening, and in the limited depth for search, also I have discussed the concept of labels. Here also, we will mark the labels. This is the label zero. A is lying in the label zero. B, C are label one. These four elements are in label two, and this is the further label three. H, I, J, K are in label three. So there are four labels, and the goal state is G. Okay, and the meaning of iterations means repetition. We have to repeat the whole procedure as soon as we proceed. so in the iterative deepening depth for search we have to go in the depth in the depth of the tree iteratively so first of all we will go for the for depth bound zero this is the depth bound zero depth bound zero meaning is level zero we have to see for the level zero elements and now i am going to start the traversal zero Level zero is having only one element that is a. So, but we have to show the iterations as we have to give each and every steps for the traversal in each and every bound. So, for depth bound zero, there are two lists: zero, uh, sorry, open and close. I have already discussed open and close list in the previous videos. What is the meaning? Why we are taking this? So, at the initial state, open and close, both the lists are empty as there is no element. but as soon as we start the traversal the element a that is the first element will come to the open list and the closed will list will remain empty further as soon as we move further downwards we will see for the children of a and they are b and c but as it is depth bound zero we don't have to traverse b and c we just have to move this element to the closed list and that's it as we are working on the level 0 we will simply move the open list element a to the close list and the open will remain open that is open list will remain empty here we don't have to move further or we don't have to write the elements uh, of the uh, level 1 here because uh, they are the element uh, children elements of a but we don't have to write them in the open list as we just have to traverse the level 0 i hope this particular thing is clear to you now moving further and that is level 1 we have to go for the depth bound one and i have uh, only written one step here and uh, that is the first step uh, the both the list open and close lists are empty as there is no element uh, again uh, telling you the thing that we are going to solve this particular question using iterative deepening depth for search so we have to show the iterations we have to show each and every steps we have to show each and every iterations that's why i have again written open and close empty one 
in here because the iteration means from zero to all. We have to move from zero. And now we are going for the depth bound one. That means that we have to traverse till level one. So after the previous step, as soon as we start traversing the level, uh, the first element, it will come to the open list and closed list will remain empty. Then further, as we move, we can see that there are two children of A element that they are B and C. So the element B and C will be moved to the, will be written to the open list and element A will be directly moved to the closed list. Okay, I hope this is clear. The element A will be transferred to the closed list and the children element of A will be written to the open list. B is the first element of the open list now and we have to traverse further. The children elements of B are D and E respectively. But as we know that we don't have to go to the next level as we are working on the depth bound one. So we will simply transfer the B element to the closed list as we know it clearly that the traversal the final list is only the list which is the elements present in the closed one we don't have to consider the open list in the final state so we have to move each and every element to the closed list whichever we are traversing so here as we are going to traverse b element we will just move this element to the closed list b and now only c element is remaining in the open list so open c close a b we have to insert the elements in the close list from right to left it is similar to the depth first search and depth limited i hope you have watched them so it would be clear to you now nextly we can see that the uh, element c is the first element or the only element of the open list now we have to go through the c element and see the children's they are f and g are the two children of c but as we know that we are working on the depth bound one that means we don't have to move after the level one we just have to remain here only so we will simply move the element c to the closed list we don't have to write the children element here in the open list now the open list is empty but it doesn't matter it is empty or having any element as we know that we have to consider the closed list so the elements are inserted from right to left and we are having a b and c a b were the previous elements and c is the latest element which is inserted here so now we have traversed level 0 and level 1. Now moving towards the depth bound 2. So for the depth bound 2 we again have to start from the level 0. As we know it clearly we are working on the iterative deepening depth first search. And in the iterative deepening means we have to show the iterations. So. So this was our, this was our tree. So open and close are empty when we are starting as in the initial state, the list remains empty. Now, as soon as we traverse the first element of level zero, that is A, we will just write this element to the open list and the closed list will again remain empty. Now as we have to traverse further and uh, now we will traverse the next level or we can say just uh, we will traverse to the children elements and the children element of A, R, B and C respectively. We just have to write these two elements to the open list and have to transfer this element A to the closed list. The elements which have been traversed are moved towards the closed list and the new elements that are the children element of the previous element will be written to the open list. I hope this point is clear. Now the first element of the open list is B in this step. So B are having two children D and E. So B, the children of B, D and E will be inserted from left to right in the open list and the element B which has been traversed now will be moved to the closed list from right to left. So right to left the B element is inserted here and open list is containing children elements there are D, E and the remaining C element is here. Now D is the first element of open list and it is having two children that is H and I but as we are working on 
depth bound to for depth bound to so we don't have to move further for the level 3 elements i hope this thing is clear as we are working on depth bound to we don't have to move towards the next state as it is the level 3 we will stop here and we just will we will move the element d which has been traversed to the next uh, in the next is step to the close list and here e and c will be remaining now e and c are remaining here and d is transferred to the close list in the next step as we can see e is having a child that is j but it is also in the level 3 but we have to work till level 2 as we are working for depth bound 2 so we will not write this element in the open list we just we will just move the element e from open list to the close list and now the remaining c element is written in the open list the remaining element is written in the open list now c considering c c is having c is the only element or the first element of the open list now considering this element c is having two children so we will write the children of c that as they are on level 2 only we can write them we can use them we will consider the elements the children element of c and we will write these two in the open list and as c has been traversed it will move to the it will be moved to the closed list so here we are we are having a b c d a b c d and then the element which has been traversed will be moved to the closed list from the open list from right to left and the new elements will be inserted from left to right in the open list now as we can see that f is the first element of the open list so now we have to traverse f f is having only one child that is k but as k is in the third level we will not go to the third level we will just transfer f as it is traversed we will transfer it to the closed list and the remaining element of the open list will be written to the open list g is remaining so g will be written to open and f as it has been traversed it will be moved to the closed list a b d e c a b d c e c and then f is here now g is the element in the open list the only element the first element now as we will see to the g element we know it very well that it is the goal state and it is not having any children it if it was having any children then also we will not traverse them we will just move the goal state as we have reached it we will move it to the close list we will move the g element to the close list now we are having open list as empty and the remaining elements of closed list a b d e c G, f a b d e c f and then g this is the final list remember don't forget this thing that we all always consider the closed list as the final path so we have to move this element whenever we reach to the goal stage we have to move that element to the closed list it is compulsory as the final path is always the elements of the closed list we don't consider the open list elements as, as final so a b d e c f g are the final elements or the final path from a to the goal node goal state g a to g this is the final path of traversal using iterative deepening depth for search i hope this video lecture this particular example is clear to you i hope you are not having any confusions if you are having any confusion in this particular question or in any other video lecture of my channel then please drop your queries into the comment box so i would be able to help you out if you like this video then please hit the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends on the social media so it would be helpful for them to understand this particular question. Hit the like button, it will motivate me, share it with your friends, comment your queries and don't forget to subscribe Fameword Educational Hub. Please press the notification bell after subscribing the channel that will help you to get the notifications whenever i upload any video when you press the notification bell you get the upload or, or the notification of my latest upload to the channel so here are various courses available on fame world educational hub 
I have uploaded many different courses like C, C++, Java, Triple C course series is available on this channel. Even many more full courses are available and uh, further different algorithms will also will be uploaded on this channel in this particular series. So I request you to please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell. Stay tuned.